Hey guys, Big Son here, and it's time for a death battle! Yes, we got the return of death battle here. Uh, this one here with some... A lot of live action characters here. What was the last time they did... No, they did, they, did, they did a few here. Very rare that they get some live action characters. Uh, whatever. But anyhow, it's, we got... James Bond, if uh, the thumbnail the indication, is it, is it just going to be Daniel Craig, James Bond? Or are we talking like the James Bond, who all the James Bonds together? Probably a composite. In that case, I have a problem with this one here because he's going to go against uh, John Wick, which is he's a single man. He's got, he had three movies and a video game. Yeah, the video games came out, right? Yeah, I think I did. Yeah, I yeah. am. Under his belt, and you guys know that I have an issue with uh, composite characters versus like individual character. Because it really, you really can't do. It's really, it's really unfair here. Like I would be all for composite versus composite, but I don't make these. So yeah, we got uh, yeah the film's greatest suavest super assassins, new and old. Try to take each other out in this shocking, positively shocking death battle. Now, the thing, of, the main difference between uh, James Bond and John Wick here, to stand out to me, is the gadgets. James Bond always has these crazy gadgets here, like uh, Daniel Craig. You know, he had a gun that could only fire for him here. We've had like the uh, wristwatch, transforming cars. John Wick doesn't have any of that here. He just has a, he just has a regular gun. He purchases uh, and all of that stuff. He comes in. I, lo I loved in chapter two here where we see how he prepares for a job here. He goes to all these places from the gun shop to getting the suit to just learning the entire layout of the area here, both from the newest additions down to the original foundations and such. And so, yeah, we'll see here. Uh, did they ever? Did they ever mention what? I don't know. No, I don't think they ever mentioned what uh, John. Uh, sorry, I guess it doesn't matter here. What John's uh, wife died of here? Just an unknown illness. They said, and yeah, it is an unknown illness here. He, she died of natural. She died of uh, natural causes, stuff like that here, because well. Everyone knows better to take on John Wick unless they got a big payout. Daniel, let's see here. James Bond, the world famous secret agent 007. Yep. John Wick, the legendary hitman who did the impossible. Whether yep. they fly solo or operate oh. on behalf of the government, the world is filled with professional killers of all shapes and sizes. But which one of cinema's super assassins is packing parabellum, and which one will live to die? Oh yeah, so it's days? composite. Nine boomsticks. And it's composite James Bond. Their weapons, armor, and skills to find out who would win. A uh, death, death battle. battle. Okay, so yeah, we got CGI models. From the shores of Crab Key to the crap stables of Casino Royale, from uh. Russia with love to Moonraker at the edge of outer space, <laughs> no man has saved the world more times than Bond. James Bond. He's the OG action hero, the slickest Scott there ever was, the coldest warrior of the swinging 60s. After a climb, the Alps took Andrew Bond, yeah, that was... James studied abroad and graduated to the Ministry Royal of Defense, Commander, the Vesper. He rose through the ranks, quickly becoming a commander on of the Lex Royal Navy. Is and when you find the thing you're good at, in his case, wanting murder, never do it for free. So after the war, James decided on her Majesty's Secret Service. It's not a code name. His parents, Andrew, eat in Bond and Connery. Yeah. His first two state-sanctioned assassinations. With this baptism in blood, Bond was granted the legendary double O status and a license to kill with impunity. As the premier defender of the West, Agent 007 is a jack of all trades when it comes to kicking commie ass and terrorist ass and basically everyone's ass. For yeah, the past pretty much. Years. From the novels mm -hmm. to the movies to the comics and games, he's been removed. I had that game. It's not a good game. I saw the 64 game. 
Bond is a master of infiltration, wow. disguise, acrobatics, driving, diving, skiing, boating, climbing, horseback riding, <sighs> airplane pilot, jetpacking, knife fighter, knife thrower, people thrower, and deadliest of all, gamer. Bond gamer. And classic Walter yeah. BBK, among the world's first successful double action semi automatic pistols. While it only carries nine rounds, its small size makes it optimal for concealment. And a microdermal sensor in the grip coated to Bond's fingerprint means only he can fire it. Pretty it much. It comes with unique ammo that breaks apart upon entry and creates eight exit wounds. Yeah, Round that, that is illegal to have. Shotgun. Especially deadly considering Bond has the golden eye of an expert marksman. Able to take out a room of armed guards in a single second, or shoot the fuel tank of a helicopter from a speeding boat a quarter of a mile away. He's huh. just as deadly disarmed. Bond combines multiple martial arts. Yes, beautiful woman. Judo, boxing, Krav Maga, Muay Thai, and Jiu Jitsu, allowing him to mm -hmm. keep up even when outnumbered. This mix of styles is likely the Welsh self-defense system known as Goshinkwai, which is taught by the modern Special Air Service. So that all pales in comparison to his greatest ability. Fuck it. Fucking okay, yeah, thanks. Lay it down, pipe. Yep. It's so proficient at seduction, it actually feels more like a superpower. Look, we're not kidding. He once seduced a female assassin sent to kill him so thoroughly, she threw herself in front of the bullet meant for him. She knew him for less than two minutes. Yeah, sometimes Bond does stuff wow. I can only describe as superhero shit. Look yeah, pretty much. So why not follow that impulse and give him some superhero gadgets too? Yeah, might as well be Though Batman before Batman. Quartermaster or after Hughes, Batman. Bond's spy gadgetry often complements his knack for problem solving and quick thinking. He's got a pen that'll explode after three clicks and disarm after a fourth. An Omega Seamaster watch that can shoot a laser beam. A cigarette that fires a miniature rocket. And C4 toothpaste that can be remotely detonated. Probably a safer bet than that pen. I made pen. If you're a compulsive clicker like Dumb. me. Wait, was I on three or four? Throw it! He also Throw it! He <laughs> wears a lightweight bulletproof vest, as well as a garrote wire for quiet kills and a grappling hook hidden yeah, within hitman. his belt buckle. That's only the semi-normal shit. He's carried earbuds that give him super hearing, X-ray shades, ultrasonic X-ray shades, yep. Mm -hmm. A stun gas keychain, a cell phone taser, exploding remote control drone, oh. a nano suit that turns him completely nano suit invisible, when? and a freaking jetpack. What game was that? He's gotta have a hell of a pair of thunderballs to piss off a crazy Scott riding one of those. But his greatest weapon is the one, the only. His dick. The his Aston dick. Martin. Aston DVD Martin. Yes. Oh, I, thought, I thought we were still talking about him. Never mind. This absolute yeah. beauty isn't just that a beauty. Look. She's packing front mounted machine guns, oil slicks, smoke screens, and of course, the ejector seat. God oh, love that one. Luck trying to break in. This baby is insanely bulletproof. Oh, like, mm -hmm. Just look at this. It you, get, you, you need armor, armor piercing. Still going. You have armor piercing. Numerous vehicles over the years yeah. for more insane features. Like a submarine transformation, mm. light bending holograms, and a remote. I like that one. I don't know if people hated that for some reason. Uh, just look at him. But it makes Living sense. Best life. And why wouldn't he? He's a globe trotting ladies man with the UK Treasury as his personal credit card. He's got the world in the palm of his hand. But for some, the world is not enough. Though Bond's iterations may vary, one thing remains uh. throughout. Behind that debonair smile and British wit is a broken, soulless shell. A man Pretty much. only good. For killing. I guess it's no surprise that a dude who smokes up to 70 cigarettes a day and routinely drinks enough to enter a coma might have a death <laughs> wish. Now, James wasn't always like this. Not long after getting his double O, he found love and loved so much he left the Secret Service behind. And then what happened? Some lives you can't escape, and some lives you can't save, no matter how hard you try. Sometimes all that's left is to kill the love inside you until all that matters is revenge. There's oh, no James Bond. Bond. James Bond. Psychopathic tendencies. He's killed hundreds of enemy combatants over hundreds? his career and might just enjoy the act of torture. But what makes me respect him is he never forgets a pun afterward. All that <laughs> yes. and regret wrapped up into one man with nothing to live for. The perfect assassin for a dying empire. Overcame a lobotomy with the power of love. Odd job. So it's got a parachute which by a stinger missile. Often knocked out Hinkman one punch. Cracked a man's skull with egg scramble. Oh. He's even fast enough to dodge gunfire near the 100 and missiles. While in free fall, and still shoot.
shoot people. This is the superhero shit we were talking yeah, about. Yeah, this is the video game would expect. Tan, he's outsmarted criminal masterminds like Dr. No, Goldfinger, and Scaramanga, the man with the golden gun. He's even bested the worst of them all, his arch nemesis, the international terrorist, Blofeld. In Blofeld? Two different timelines, no two different timeline. in really? A twist in the second Blofeld was Bond's bum bum bum. That? Long lost adopted brother. What? If I recall correctly, also happened in Austin Powers. Yeah, Ted. Why we love the old Scottish so and so. Who else could escape a giant space laser by kite surfing on a tsunami? What more can we say about 007? He's got the best job in the business, and nobody does it better. Damn. Surprise. You're just Screw up like really badly. Yeah. And make the worst mistake ever. So that even the Russian yeah, mob is like. For the rest of your life. Wow. Yeah. Uh, let's lay out a, a hypothetical. You see a car that you like, but its owner won't sell. So you follow him home, beat him senseless, steal his car, and kill his dog. Yeah, the that's dog just. His beloved wife gifted him after she died very recently. Very oh, yeah. recently, yes. Pretty big mistake. And this man, well, he just happens to be the single deadliest assassin in the entire world. He may be called Baba Yaga, but he's Baba not Yaga, the, boogeyman. the boogeyman. He's the one you sent to kill the goddamn yeah, boogeyman. boogeyman. Yes, God. I love that line. So yeah, that's one pretty huge mistake. The full story of this specter is almost non-existent, but rumor has it he was trained by the Ruska Roma crime syndicate. Ruska Roma. I think he was like a marine. America making a name for himself in its criminal underworld. Well, about Roos, really. Enough to the... scare the living daylights out of even the most hardened murderers. Wick yeah. is a master martial artist, combining several schools into an all-purpose fighting style that focuses on maximum efficiency with minimal effort. Almost no one who has fought him directly has lived to tell the tale. So which specific forms he practices are for his eyes only. So and why don't boy. We look at the martial arts used to prepare for the movies by everyone's favorite immortal, Keanu Reeves. Keanu Reeves, Reeves yeah. combines Sambo, Aikido, Judo, and Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu for defensive joint locks, throws, and wrestling moves to avoid as much... Yeah, hey, like, well, like former member of the... Yeah, exactly. The Given the against them. tattoo so on his back. To is Krav Maga, which is designed to take all the best <laughs> moves from various martial arts to make the ultimate fighting style. While most martial arts are designed with other purposes in mind, like exercise, Krav Maga's entire goal is basically murder. And boy, if that isn't mm -hmm. way to a T. In his hands, literally anything can be a deadly weapon. Yep. Knives, swords, oh. books, his well, belt. Books, yes, yeah, belt. He hey, pencil. Three guys with a pencil. A number two pencil. <laughs> yes. To John's precise understanding of the human body. Oh. He targets weak points and vital organs with ease. But thanks to the Continental, he doesn't have to rely on writing utensils to execute his victims. It Imagine works! Imagine a chain of hotels around the world that serve as a front for a whole underground society of assassins. Okay. He can consult the wine steward's robust selection. Pistols, revolvers, submachine guns, assault rifles, shotguns, plastic explosives, it's all on the menu. Yeah, pretty much. Quick nice tasting. And Coke P30L, a polymer frame semi-automatic handgun that holds 15 rounds mm, of 9x19 my... Parabellum. Which he wields like an artist does a paintbrush. Wick can empty entire rooms full of enemies before they can blink. Once even Wait, why you need to reload guards in only three seconds. He's the definition of accurate, almost never missing a shot, and that includes on horseback and <laughs> motorcycle back. Yep. He's got a view to a kill. You can bet he's taken it. And he comes literally dressed to kill with a oh, yes. tailored tactically lined suit jacket that is completely bulletproof. Yep, Even but quite painful, I'm afraid. Close range do nothing to him. It also helps him blend into the shadows for some sick stealth kills and even disappear in plain sight like the goddamn Batman. He <laughs> eventually joined the Tarasov mob and quickly became one of their top enforcers. Mm -hmm. A grim reaper who hunted their enemies with divine... So the video game is set during his time uh, there, right? Maybe this angel of death was more human than we first thought. After years of being a badass, Wick wanted out of the mob to get married to the love of his life and retire. Throw that pen away! Uh, I wonder how that first date conversation went. Man, she must have really fallen for him. I guess he put the ass in assassin. <laughs> assassin. So his gave him an impossible task. Mm -hmm. He could leave if he wiped out every last one of the mob's enemies in a single night. A single Which night. He did, because human or no, he's still John Wick. Yeah. Will you stop that already? And he lived happily ever after. E well, for a little while. Bosses, not no son screwed up. Like, well, really badly. 
Not a, a bit more. The like, wife died. Some dog, but a semblance of hope. The opportunity to grieve unalone. His last tether to a happy life. Yeah. So Wick was back with a vengeance. I'm Prepared thinking I'm back. Yes. Person that got in his way until the whole of New York's criminal underworld had been raised by his bloody crusade. Yep. Over the course of the three movies, which span only about two weeks, Wick left over. <laughs> oh yeah, that's true. Bodies two weeks. Three hundred. Running into him is like seeing the sky fall. You're going to die. There's no escape. He survived being stabbed. Rams Got a finger of his dog, cut, cut off his own finger with minimal. Yeah, I remember that one. Fourth on his self. Everyone in several form martial arts. Yes. Somewhere in there, he's probably getting shot and trek through the Saharan desert. And it's not like the previous movie had time to heal, or the ones from the movie before that. We cannot emphasize this enough. John Wick is unstoppable. He's strong enough to toss around full grown men. He's determined. He's like pure willpower. It's like it's like the Batman of the willpower he's got here. He annihilated his former terrorist of employers, the Neapolitan crime family. Yeah, and ended up an international army of assassins attacking him at random, one after the other, every few minutes. Even after being declared excommunicado by the Continental, bereft of his former resources, he yep. killed every like his like the gold coin he's now he's got worthless. With barely a quantum of solace to rest. A quantum like of solace, said, nice one. Completely unstoppable. Outgunned, outmanned, it doesn't matter. John oh. Wick lost everything in the world that meant anything to him. And that means he won't stop killing until there's no one left. Or he dies trying. Or they stop trying to kill him. Luck with that. Or they stop trying to kill him. Just the, uh, no, all right, the combatants are set. You've run the data through all possibilities. It's no time to die for a death battle! Oh! This is hard. It is very hard here. But if we're doing a composite James Bond here, we're talking 60 years mold into one man. So... Yeah, he's gonna have more experience, more, 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 and everything here. He's pretty much been through relatively the m same thing that uh, Wick has, if not just a lot more. I probably was a cheer for Wick here. And again, yeah, yeah, and, and let's not forget, um, Bond has very the obvious sci fi gadgets here that, well, do you really think uh, the tactical vest that Wick holds would stop a laser? Or what, the cigarette grenade? <sighs> I want to say Wick, just because, you know, Keanu Reeves and all that stuff. But I'm going to go with uh, Bond here. He. Def, not only he's got best outfitted, but he's got the gadgets as well here. Not just the guns, which I will be relatively the same for John Wick, but he'd be more sci-fi-esque stuff. So, James Bond. Let's see here. Part of me hopes I'm wrong. He's not one to be taken lightly. Be careful, 007. And happy hunting. Oh, I get it. Sam is always touching Q. Vodka martini, shaken, not stirred. <laughs> oh God! What can I get you, mate? Drinks are on me. I prefer to be alone. Unfortunately, I wasn't asking, Baba Yaga. Now you can come with me, or we can do this here. Killing isn't permitted on company grounds. Lucky me. <laughs> Yeah, so, so, so then like the Continental here, which... But well, he doesn't work for the company, really. Seems you've got me at a disadvantage. You won't mind giving a dead man walking one last smoke? What does MI6 want with me? Yeah. Your reputation precedes you. I'll be sure to keep up. No, you won't. Oh, really? Really? I mean, point blank again, but it's an explosive. Really? <laughs> we, 
get rid of that gag? Oh. Yeah, okay, there we are. Laser. Oh boy, yeah, here we go. Three, we did three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I. To be entirely honest, I lost count. I lost, yeah. God, I think, I think we're at ten, I don't know. The Aston Martin. Yeah, you, you never ready to control car. the official uh, ammo. What comes around goes around, as they say. Smashing. Positively smashing. <sighs> oh, do grow up, 007. <laughs> nope. Them. Hey, uh, that one. I never thought Wick could lose, but yeah. I guess I'll never say never again. Though his skills and brutal tenacity would have saved Wick initially against mm -hmm. James He's Bond, who only lived twice. You mean once, right? I know what I said. Uh-huh. Despite all that, Wick met his match in Agent 007. Yeah, pretty much. And match is the optimal word here. Wick may have been an expert martial artist, not but especially Bond is actually practiced several of the same So Rackus B cannot easily counter Gadget exactly. Just as skilled a fighter, even defeating master martial artists himself. Wick's ability to shatter a floor of bulletproof glass definitely makes him superhumanly strong, but Bond has fought off similarly powerful henchmen in the past. Yep. And while Wick's speed and accuracy with a gun may look unbeatable, Bond's is just as impressive. Mm -hmm. He's landed accurate shots just as well as Wick ever has, but more importantly, he has a faster quick draw. That's right. Mm -hmm. Despite being played by yep. Neo himself, Wick Neo has himself. never dodged bullets. Bond, on the other hand, has. And that superior speed gave him an edge the, both They are likely a liar. Bond dodged the electricity so from Gustav Holden. Well, as Laser Dream from, yeah. Alone. And that's where Bond held his biggest advantage, his gadget. There was no way Wick would see an exploding pen or a laser wire yeah, coming. Yeah, exactly. That's the whole point of Bond's gadgets. They're seemingly normal, everyday objects that'll take his enemy by surprise. Given time, Bond has always used these to come up with game-winning strategies, even against numerically superior foes, especially with his more absurd technology like the invisible yes. nanosuit and remote... All Wick weapons, there's drugs. nothing. Yeah, Wick's exactly. Endurance might be Wick is far more grounded. He isn't invincible. He can keep fighting even on death's door. But the deadliness of Bond's trick weapons would not have given him that option. Diamonds are forever, but against someone just as skilled with an arsenal straight out of science fiction, mm. Wick's luck definitely wasn't. Bond may Sadly. have been the spy who loved me, but against <laughs> Wick, <laughs> he was going to live and let die. And you can bet Stop tomorrow that. never dies. Oh, God. Nailed it. No. Look, I just had to fit the last few movies in, okay? <laughs> oh, wait, shit! I forgot about Octopussy! Octopussy, <laughs> Octopussy! Oh, God, here we go. The winner is Bond. <clears throat> James Bond. There we are. I was, I was wondering when I got to use it. I knew, I knew they had to use that clip. They just had to. There was, there was no way. They used it as a winner. Perfect. Uh, pretty much, yeah. It's like, oh, boy. Well, yeah. I feel sorry for Wiz having 70 year olds that here. Like, Boomstick trying to fit all that, all the movie titles in there. Oh, boy. <sighs> yeah? 
James Bond, ah. I got it right. I hate it. Yeah, like one of those moments where I hate that I'm right. Let's see what the next death battle's like. Hey, if you want more death battle ASAP, why not grab a membership? You'll get exclusive emotes, badges, live chat, live streams, and a bunch uh -huh, of behind the scenes uh -huh. stuff. Just click that join button. Oh boy. And who's next? Next time? Oh? Oh, Black Adam versus... The world's first mut mutant apocalypse? Huh. Black Adam versus apocalypse. Okay. I mean, uh, was this a requested death battle? Uh, something that people always wondered about? We'll see. So, yeah. Uh, everyone, thank you for watching. Overall, I thought it was a very good death battle there. Uh, as always, uh, comment below you all thought. Like, subscribe for more videos. Till next one, this is Mexan. Logging out.